Gentlemen, it's now time for the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Thursday, the 20th of December, 2012. And my two Skype co-hosts joining me tonight both share a very special celebration. Today, it's their birthdays. First off, from Folsom, Pennsylvania, it's J. Van Diesel. J. Van Diesel, welcome back to the Pricing Game Recap. It's so good to be back. <laughs> and my second co-host is making his debut on my channel tonight. Representing Savannah, Georgia, it is Meathead177 Returns. Meathead177 Returns, welcome to the Price is Right Pricing and Recap for the first time. Thanks. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> well, you be very excited. It's your big moment here. Are you ready to recap? Yeah. Alright. Let's do this thing. Here are the pricing games that were played today. Cover up. One right price. Pick a number. Shopping spree. It's in the bag. And range game. J. Van Diesel, you get to start off the fun by recapping pricing game number one. Alright, well that was heaven playing cover up for a Kia Rio that was modeled by Rod. The incorrect price that you got was 38400 Now here's what he did, he changed the following numbers. The 2 uh, was used instead of the 1 to replace the 3. The 0 was used to replace the 8, not the 5 or the 2. The 4 was replaced with the 5, not the 0, 1, or 9. The first 0 was replaced with the 7, not the 3, the 6, the 3, the 8, the 7, or the 2, I think. It's actually 4. 4, yeah, I wrote 4 here. Sorry about that. And the second 0 was replaced by an 8, not the 2, 4, 7, 3, or 6. Making the price 20,578, which is what he thought. Now, I thought he was close, but not exactly right. Well, it wasn't the price of the car. Big man, is even worse, first Mike? No I'm numbers were right. Wow, I could not believe that. I thought he was close. Uh, and none of the numbers were in were correct. The actual retail price, believe it or not, fifteen nine twenty six. So he should have done the one, the five, the nine, the two, and the six. I really thought that car was at least twenty thousand dollars. Wow! I thought, was, I thought it was 22. Talk about Mike Richards being a Scrooge! Alright! Meathead177 returns. As you make your pricing game recap debut, please tell us now about pricing game number two. Okay, our second contestant, Lauren, he played one right price for his trip to Palm Springs and Santa Barbara. Chose the five to be the second number. 
So Amber placed the five in the second spot, making the price $9,526. And when Drew revealed what the missing number was, it turned out to be... a three! The actual retail price was $9,526. Yeah, very familiar price, I must say. Although a part of me thought five was it. Alright, J Van Diesel. Let's find out now what was in store with pricing game number four. Well, that's two of my favorite games, Mike. It's shopping spree. Now, a plumber from Chino named Anthony was a lucky contestant to win his way up on stage after the one bid, and he was the one that played. The following prizes were a 15-inch MacBook, MacBook Pro laptop computer, a 9-foot Atomic Play shuffleboard table by Escalade Sports, a 42-inch RCS barbecue gas grill, and a BCBG accessory set. Now, prizes 1 and 2, which of course for the computer and the table, were modeled by Rachel. The grill and this accessory set, I'm going to be able to have. And by the way, it's still the top. <laughs> I go, gotta tell you somehow. Now the limit he had to spend was seven grand, so seven thousand dollars or more. He chose the prize number four, which is the accessory set. Pretty nice pick. It was one thousand two eighty six. I actually thought it was only the least expensive of the four. So with that being reduced, he was down to five thousand seven fourteen left to pay, uh, left to spend. He then went for the grill. Big, big price tag on that. He must be cooking three hundred dollars steaks for a grill that's worth three thousand seven ninety eight. So with that grill, dropping him down to nineteen sixteen, so he to spend that or more. And it's between the following two, it's between the shuffleboard table and the computer. Now he chose the computer. I wasn't feeling too good about this when I saw both of them thinking the shuffleboard table is going to be a little bit more. I was thinking the shuffleboard table myself. What? I was thinking the shuffleboard table is what he should have picked, not the laptop. Yeah, you and me were thinking the same thing. Well, Mike, I got something to tell you. Yeah? We were wrong. Wow. The computer's actual price was twenty one ninety nine. He won all four prizes. Nice done. Yeah, the shuffleboard was six hundred dollars, and the total prize he won was seven thousand eight eighty three. Man, let me tell you something, Anthony. Enjoy all that stuff, and uh, when I show up at your house, you're playing shuffleboard, and you gotta make me a three hundred dollars steak. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Meathead one seventy seven returns. It's now time to get back into a jive by recapping pricing game number five. All right. Our uh, fifth contestant is Robin. She plays It's in the Bag. Rachel did the first three bags. And Manuela did the last two bags. The so mac and cheese just went into the 149 bag. The fruit cake into the 2795 bag. The donut coffee into the 1079 bag. Air freshener in the 499 bag. And the gum is $379. Okay. The so map was right, she won $1,000. The fruit stick was right, she won $2,000. The dump my coffee was right, she won $4,000. And the air freshener was wrong. She won everything. But she got the gum right. Ah. Uh, I kind of had a bad feeling about the $8,000 bag when she got to it. Well, all was not lost for Robin, as I will explain toward the end of this recap. The first, the last price game of the day, and it was played by Jared. No, not Jared Fogel, the subway guy. Jared is stationed at Mountainside Air Force Base in Idaho. He was the sixth contestant, and he played range games for a chance to win a 2013 Chevrolet Spark LS modeled by Amber. The lowest price on the range was $13,700, and the highest price on the range was $14,300. Now, Jared froze the $150 range between about $13,927 and 
and 14,077. And when the actual retail price lit up in the dark green strip, it was 13,920. Oh, he stopped it just a little too late. Oh, what a heartbreaker. To be honest with you, I was thinking the car was at least 14 grand. Wow. Alright, on to the acknowledgments. According to Ben Mason Television and Cover Up, no numbers right in the first try yet? He can't seem to remember when that last happened, if ever. If it was the first time, it's a historic moment. Well, there's footage on YouTube actually when a contestant back in the Bob Barker era got no numbers right. I think it happened twice. Anyway, those two cards offered in the show were the cheapest Ben Mason Television has seen in a long time. Either car should have been saved for dice game, obviously. And another thing, today a double overbid in contestants row aired for the first time this season. And we have three of the regular models plus Rob Wilson on hand today. So today we had two pricing games. One, they were one right price and shopping spree. And Robin won herself a thousand dollars in the second showcase showdown. So the MVPs are Lauren and Anthony for their pricing game wins. And I have to name Robin an MVP of the prices right as well. Not only she won one thousand dollars, but she also won her showcase that included red Cuisinart countertop appliances that include a food processor, a blender, coffee maker, chopper, grinder, and toaster, $3,000. Both the appliances and the cash were modeled by Amber. And a Fiat 500 Gucci hatchback modeled by Rachel. Now here's an interesting fact. Robin's boss uh, said that Robin was going to win a Fiat today, and she did. She bid $20,600. The actual retail price on her showcase, $28,400 for a difference of $7,800. Including her one bid prize, the $1,000 she won in the second showcase showdown, she won a grand total of $30,800 in cash and prizes. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap for the holidays tonight is provided by the movie... Home Alone! So, tomorrow to end the week, I am scheduled to have Sports Guy 528 and Keith C. Johnson as my co host. J Van Diesel and Meathead 177 returns. Happy birthday to you both, and thanks for appearing on tonight's Pricing Game Recap for the holidays. Thanks, Mike. It was a pleasure, man. Very happy to hear. Alright, so. For the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap, this is Mr. Horgan. And GVD with the Porsche Meathead right here. And Meathead 177 return. And we're reminding you to help control the pet population by doing what, guys? Having your pet at the pet feed or neuter. Thanks once again, guys. And once again, happy birthday to both of you. Thanks. Happy holidays to you both also. Thank you. Thanks. Alright, folks. See you all tomorrow.